what's up guys and welcome back to a new video in this video we are doing another bannerlord podcast and we are here today with hi my name is ken prox yeah go check his channel out in the description down below uh, and yeah what you say should we jump right into the first question all right great so the first question is do you think we will get a beta version of bannerlord Honestly, I do believe that we should be receiving one, and I think that it should be like, you know, early next year to mid 2020. So yeah. Um, since Banner Lord's been announced in 2014, and we've been waiting for five or so years, I think that it would be, you know, uh, good for Tail World to release a beta because I think they've lost a lot of hype over the years, and I think yeah, that releasing sure. a beta would regain a lot of those fans. So. Yeah. Great. Uh, well, I really hope we would get a, a beta version because that would, as you said, really keep their fan base alive. Like, yeah. Okay, uh, so now to the next question. Uh, like, when would we expect a beta to come? You have already answered that that uh, question in the previous question, but like, can you motivate why you you, you just think like that that date? Like why why yeah. so so specific? I think that it'd be early to mid next year because based on how they've been releasing more and more information, it's kind of leading up to the point where the game is starting to become playable based on some gameplay yeah. that I've seen on YouTube and some that you've shown on your own channel. Yeah. Um. So I think that they're coming to the point where they're like going to be able to release maybe I don't know uh like private beta I'd say in like early. Yeah. 20, uh, 2020. Like Total at least hit, a hit me up for that, you know. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it would be at least a private one at yeah. the earliest for 2020. But then I think they'd eventually make it an open beta so more and more people could cover it. But yeah, yeah I think at, le at, at the latest, I'd say late next year. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I saw a feature with like an open beta system with another game. That's called, I think it's called like Talapo, like the Legends of Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Uh, it's a very small game, you know, it it, it has like 100 yeah. players or, or so. Um, they, they had a pretty like fun open beta system because their servers were like uh, so small and they, they had like this booking system like on, on their site where like 100 people could book like each hour. Um, so like it would be like... Kind of a private one, but still, that ev everyone would get a chance to try it out, you know. Um, yeah. That, that would be cool. Okay, so uh, the next question. Uh, will you play multiplayer or single player the most in Bannerlord? Well, based on what I've played in Warband, I really enjoyed the single player the most yeah. because I like the strategy to it. And the multiplayer was just fights over and over, and that kind of got boring. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. It just depends on what they include in it. it yeah. Because I don't know very much about that. Yeah. Uh, which always, like, leads to the next question, kind of. Uh, they said, like, for a very, very long time ago that there it was probably going to be, a, like, a multiplayer campaign co-op feature in the multiplayer. But they also mentioned, that, like, in a more previous post that that would be too hard for them or s some kind of that. I don't really remember like exactly what it said, but some something in in the style with that uh, like it would be um, pretty hard to like uh, make it happen right now because you know Mountain Blade is the the, the type of game where like it's not like in Total War, um, which has the feature that you know like it, it's turns uh, in Ma Mountain Blade. Oh. They yep. would have have to like implement the turn system in in order to make that work. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah, like a more kind of RTS game. Yeah, exactly, and that that is like not something that the Mountain Blade players would like. I I think at least like in my opinion, uh, because then they would just go over and play Total War. Um, that kind of loses all their um, yeah. set points. Uh, yeah, what do you think about about? So that's a big topic on the game because it's yeah. a really well liked part of Warband and Bannerlord. It's it's what defines the series. You 
are you can start up your own kingdom and etc but if you're playing with buddies there's yeah. a problem with would you be working in the same kingdom together or would you start fighting your own buddies and then kind of turn yeah. the relationship sour during that <laughs> um <laughs> trust me my me and my friends are really competitive so it would turn, <laughs> yeah, turn bad too. very fast <laughs> Um, so I, I don't know if it would become a system as one person could be king, the other could be like marshal or like an assistant or something yeah, like that. That would be um, cool. But I feel like someone would get greedy along the lines, or if they somehow open like a server where it's no NPCs or something like that, and you, everyone starts up their own kingdoms, yeah. which would be an interesting take. But yeah. it would be a, a big variation. So it's going to be a hard yeah, thing sure. to tackle for Tail World. So let's just hope that they're able to do that. Uh, nice point. Uh, okay, so um, the to, to the last question now, the question that I'm ask, asking all of uh, my guests in this podcast series, when do you think the game Bannerlord will be released? Well, I know, based I, on I know it's a tough how, one, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I, yeah, based on how they've been doing uh, this, I really, really hope that it's going to be out before i graduate high school which would be interesting <laughs> if it, yeah uh, so hopefully if it doesn't come out before 2023 that's gonna be a little worrying <laughs> yeah um, but i think at the latest i'd say like 2021 and to yeah. early 2022 because it's if some miracle of god grants them to bring out the game in 2020 that would be amazing but i'm hoping for at least a 2021 release date which would be yeah. nice but it just depends on how they're handling it yeah and if there's any problems that happen we'll hope for that it will it's it's kind of funny because when i started this this pod, podcast uh the, the like first one or two guests said that you know well i think that the game is going to be released in, in like 2019 summer spring ish and you know now now we're here, <laughs> and we still hasn't seen <laughs> yeah. seen more of the, of the game than when uh, they said that. So maybe like when I am doing this, like like e- episode like three hundred and sixty, like to twenty twenty one, it will just be the same same thing. Like l- looking bad at how many guests in this podcast that have said like oh twenty twenty one or oh twenty twenty. And now, like when I'm I'm there, it still hasn't like gone anywhere. Oh, it just, I I swear, if after beating us after all this time, they're just yeah. gonna end up. But it goes into the you know editing or like recycling hell, and then we just can't get the game ever. <laughs> That's just gonna be yeah. awful. But they they seem to be working on it. They so it. It looks like they're still working on the game. They've been making new posts and new updates recently. Yeah. Like they're making it more and more often, so that's a good sign. It shows that they haven't completely given up on the game. Yeah. Which is nice because I a lot of people including me and I'm guessing you uh, <laughs> yeah. are looking forward to it. Yeah. So that'd sure. be great if they can get it out as soon as yeah. possible and still make the game a good addition in the series. Yeah. Hope for that. You know, Telewords, you know, I gotta do more series on on my channel, so it would be pretty good for you like to release the game like next week or so, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this was everything for today's episode. Thank you so much for taking your time to do this with us. And uh, I hope you guys will uh, like the, this video and share it and sub- subscribe to my channel and to um, Camp Rock's uh, channel link is in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.